All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to do another little tip video. Uh, this one is, this is opinion. It's my opinion. I believe this is one of the best ways to lay out your smelting room. When I say by room, I mean you can do everything you need to do in four platforms. So just four platforms. These don't have to be walls. I just made them walls, or sorry, windows. Do whatever you want. I didn't mean put a roof on this. So here's what I mean by, and, and I packed mine up because, quite frankly, it's too expensive to build the steel furnace again. And I don't, on this playthrough, I actually do not have the recycler yet. So what we're talking about here is five uh, furnaces. So we're going here, going to build. We're going to go over here to this guy, and we got furnace. You need these to smelt iron ingots. You need it to smelt copper ingots. So five of those, the reason for five, is one steel furnace processes five material at once to make one single steel ingot. Looks like a plate, to be honest, but we'll, we'll call it steel. Um, and it works out really well that way. Now this is going to give you everything you need for the whole process in one small 4x4 room. So this is five wooden boxes. You're going to make five of these. You're going to make one metal barrel, one wooden shelving, one steel furnace, and five furnaces. This is a grand total of 135 wood if you didn't pack them up like I did. A total of 73 metal, 40 rubber, I'll have this linked in the description as well. 15 iron bars, 10 electronic parts, and 5 advanced parts. 5 advanced parts, you can get that from just 2 of the red toolboxes, because you get 2 to 3 each time. So, if your luck is good, too. So we're going to start with the furnaces now. Instead of, you know, this normally that's how I did when I first did it. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. We are going to kind of, you can see, sort of, there needs to be a better way to tell that I'm going into the wall back there, but anyway, I like that. Let's make sure we didn't go through the wall too badly. We did not. We are sticking through the wall there a little bit, but that is okay. And we are going to continue this way all the way across. This is another thing. Uh, I To get things pixel perfect drives me crazy, so... I just, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a few of you watching that are just like me, and it drives them drives you absolutely crazy when it's not pixel perfect. And you can fit five here. You'll have just a tiny bit of room left over. Oh, come on, get in there straight. There we go. and five. So that lasts a little bit of space. Uh, it can be whatever you feel like. There's not a lot you can fit in there. But now, so we've got all that, and so now we can stand right here, and I can access every single one of these in one spot without moving. So now, we are going to craft the boxes. Now, you can do it this way, and it goes in a decent amount, and it does separate them a little bit better. When you do them the the way that it spawns, it's going to be uh, end to end. If you don't like it that way, don't do that. Um, it doesn't bother me too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that way. And you're lining it up just like this. I'm going to move until it starts moving up, then bring it back down. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way across. Line it up with the two feet coming down. And bam. Right there. There, and one more. And I'll go back onto my other platform to show you exactly why this, because I didn't have the space to bring all the materials to show you what goes in here. So, you have a chest for each one. Well, not really. 
the way I set it up is the first chest is iron ore, copper ore, iron ingots, copper ingots, steel. So now we need to make one metal barrel. This metal barrel, I usually kind of put it right close to the door. The reason being, I don't know how many of you played for a little while. It's a pain in the butt when you're trying to grab something and you click the wrong thing. It just, it's really a pain in the butt. So this bad boy, now you can see it has a protruding section and the back will protrude if you get too close, but I don't want to clip the door too much. So I usually kind of, kind of like that. And it's going to stick out a little bit. So you got this little pipe back here. Maybe you can make that a feature. Put something else there to make it a feature. And then you got the wooden crate. And I'm putting the wooden one right next to it. Kind of cheese it in there a little bit. Try to uh, save as much space as... Come on. We need more pinpoint control. Something like that right there. So now you can come fill all this up. Here's another thing we need. We need to be able to just hold F and it just fills everything that's in your uh, bags. So this here would be for coal. Coal is for this. You can stand right here, go zoom right down the way, turn around, put them in there. You don't even have to move. You need some coal, grab some coal. To do that, you need some wood, grab some wood. You can stand in one spot and do everything all at once. Grab any one of these chests. Sometimes this one's a little tough to get to for some reason, but... And do everything without ever moving. And that's in just a small 4x4. Now, you still have more space. You could say right here, you could put the uh, anvil. Uh, that fits in there right quite nicely. So let's run over here real quick, and I will show you how I actually organize them. I just stole my equipment for, from over here so that I didn't have to sit and remake it. It'd be, be a bit longer of a video if I sat and remade them, every one of them. So, I don't have any iron at the moment. There's your copper, iron bars, copper bars, steel. See how it looks like a plate? So, charcoal there, wood there, everything within, I usually put the lantern directly above and in front of the center one. So I have full light, full access to do everything in one rotation. If this helps, I, I, I hope you'll uh, consider watching again. Thanks for watching, everybody.